So, hey everybody, and uh, welcome to a uh, texture pack review by, you know, me, Ted. Okay, so I'm here, and the first time I'm doing one of these, and I decided that since I like it so much, I'm going to be reviewing the Faithful 32X texture pack, which I, uh, I do actually, I use it quite a lot. Now, starting off here, we got the bed, which, you know, and I should explain, of course, it's Faithful 32X, so everything is vanilla, except a bit more awesome. Um, as you can see here, we got the bed, which is slightly retextured. This has got a bit more res on it. Looks nice. The chest, again, with more res. The redstone lamp, again, I'm just gonna say with more res. All of these have more resolution, more pixels, two times more. So all the lines get smoothed out, and you can make a bit more hardly defined shapes with them. Uh, here's a single chest. Here's a crafting table with a GUI. Uh, here's a furnace with its GUI. Here's a dispenser. As you can hear, that's a note block. This is a record player. This is what the ambo looks like, and uh, if I give myself, let's see, combat, something like, I don't know, sharpness 5, and fire aspect 2, and oh, a whole bunch of bottles, oh, enchanting, as you can see. on it, and I got sharpness 5 on that, so you can finally have combat enchantments on axes, thanks to the anvil, which is really handy for MCMMO servers if you want to put combat enchantments on your uh, axes, if you get a high axe level. Oh, and here's a bottle of enchanting, as you can see, nice little particle effects, the experience bubbles are higher resolution, uh, there's a trap door. Uh, here's all your wools going from poo brown all the way to the white scale color, so you got your brown, your red, your yellow, your pink. Your purple, your lime, your dark green, your blue, your light light blue, uh, your black, your gray, your light gray, and your white. I didn't get all those in here. Uh, here's your ores with their respective blocks. As you can see, you have a bit of extra texturing on all this stuff, and it's very, very nice. Um, actually, let me put that back. I feel really bad that I did that now. I feel bad for the block of emerald that I broke it. Okay. Uh, and we're going to go down here. You got the gold. Gold. Lapis, that was supposed to be iron. Uh, gold, lapis, diamond, emerald, coal, and redstone. Uh, you got your respective planks. You got your jungle, your spruce, your birch, and your oak. Uh, and all their variable stairs. You can see they all look really nice. And one of the things I like about this texture pack is that they finally fixed all the ugly ass pixelation on uh, the wood planks. So the wood planks actually look nice now. Here's my dirt that's turned to grass. Uh, your sand, your glass. Your gravel, your obsidian, cobble, mossy cobble, end stone, sandstone, chiseled sandstone, smooth sandstone, normal bricks, which I think normal bricks are the best block for building in the game with this texture pack because they just look so nice. Your cracked bricks, your chiseled brick, uh, your spawn egg brick, uh, so silverfish would come out of that maybe if I hit it. Uh, here's the. Okay, uh, sorry, I was having way too much lag issues where I was at, so I decided to relocate. Okay, so here's the sign, and here's what the sign looks like on the text. It's a bit smoother. As a matter of fact, all the song, all the text is a bit smoother with this texture pack on right now. Um, here's your static water with no line under it. Here is your moving water, your static lava, your moving lava. Um, here's the enchantment table and its gridded user interface. Uh, here's my little mob thing. So that hopefully we can show these things off more closely. So here's a here's a villager zombie. That's what they look like. Oh, yep, here's the lag again. Uh, just kill him off. Quickly. And then here's a skeleton. Yeah, he looks pretty nice. He's got his little bow out. It's a bit more high resolution than it normally would be, which is good. Which is good. It's why I like this texture pack. It's really true to Minecraft, but it just makes everything clear. So here's a spider who looks awesome while he's on fire. You need to die. Okay. There's a cave. Oh, no. There's one more. There's a cave spider. Here's a guy that needs to get out of the area. Um, <laughs> and you can see he's really small. He's got the eyes. He's slightly different colored. He's pretty dark in the body, but he's lightly green with the legs and everything. Um, here's a creeper who is a lot more high res. He's kind of leafy looking instead of just blah, whatever the originals are supposed to look like. And here's your scary ass Enderman. He needs to die. Um, but I decided 
keep it pretty condensed. I didn't really go over everything I could have, maybe even should have or would have. But I do hope that I covered enough stuff in this video to keep everybody happy. So I'm going to be uploading this pretty soon. Uh, maybe to my channel, maybe on my friend Mark's channel, you might just like it and share it on his or something. I don't know how it's really going now. But uh, all I can say is yeah, that's right. But, uh, so I hope you all have a good time. Links will be in the description and everything. And I'll see you later.